Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make this video to show you something amazing that I just discovered tonight. And I just had to show you. This is so fun. So I didn't see a video on this anywhere on the internet. I just discovered how to do it. And it's so fun. It's amazing. I can't believe I just discovered this. Anyways, I'm not bragging. I want you guys to try this out and tell me what you think. It's just so awesome. So by the title of the video you can tell that we're going to be using Instax Mini film in an old Polaroid camera. A real legit Polaroid. Now this is a Polaroid 600. You'll need, you know, a camera that uses 600 film. So basically all you're going to need for this little project is a, a film changing bag, which is like your mini dark room. If you don't have a dark room, obviously. Uh, if you have a room with no windows in the house, you can just, uh, you know, turn off all the lights and close the door. Maybe go under a blanket and do it all under there. But I just used one of these and it worked great. So these are like 20 bucks, film changing bag, dark bag. And um, you will need a cartridge for the original um, Polaroid with the battery still working in it. Now you can get one of those uh, film packs for about $24 at theimpossibleproject.com and it comes with eight shots so if you don't know what the impossible project is it's a company that makes film for these old Polaroid cameras they're just really expensive they're like three dollars a shot and so um, they're probably gonna be mad at me for making this video but whatever I still recommend impossible project you know they're awesome and so that's what I'm using. I'm using one of their cartridges. The battery still works in it. So I actually have one shot loaded up in this right now. You can only do one at a time, which, uh, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's all about being creative and it takes time. It takes a lot of effort. Well, not a lot of effort, but, you know, it's not just like with your regular Instax film. You just take it and there it is right away. It's not really instant. So we're going to be using uh, this camera to process it. Did I say you need this camera? Yeah, you need this Instax mini camera. It doesn't matter what model of mini camera you have. Just make sure you have one because this is going to process the picture. And so, yeah, let's take a shot with this and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so this is our subject matter. This is, this is copper and he's going to be the star of the show tonight and so let's see got the setting on <laughs> stay sit sit down you stay stay are you a good boy okay right. so now we're not going to see the film come out right now but now we've taken the shot and now we're just ready to process it and we're gonna see how copper turned out <laughs> all right so I just took the shot and then I went into my film changing bag and took the shot out of the cartridge and then put it back in the camera and I'll explain how I did all that later I'm gonna put it on the sunniest setting so it captures the least amount of light possible just in case you know you don't want any light to be exposed we're just gonna take a picture with the lens covered up with something here comes out the picture taken on a legit Polaroid we'll see how it turns out here Hey, that actually turned out pretty nice. What do you think? A little bit overexposed, but you know what? That's that Polaroid look. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so we have our Instax pack here, and you always remember this yellow dot is going to be in the upper right corner when you put it back into your camera and you can feel it which is good 
And so what you're going to do in the dark, this is all in the dark, remember that. And so just push this thing out and remember to have this black side facing up when you put it in here. And you can feel the edges here to make sure you have it in the right way. And always remember when you put it back in here to have this pack facing up. So when it goes through the rollers, it can spread the chemicals through the picture. So what I have here is an impossible project picture that I've just cut to make it so it doesn't eject. Because right when you put these packs in the Polaroid camera, it has one automatic eject. And so if you don't have this cut like this, then it will just eject the picture out. And why I have this here is because if you just put this in by itself, it kind of bends and it won't be, you know, perfectly clean. It'll be distorted if it bends and you don't want it to bend at all. You want it to be as flat as possible. So if you don't have one of these uh, spare pictures that didn't turn out too good, then you can use maybe a file folder, just cut off a piece like that. I just put this in like this and that makes the photo lay flat. Again, just remember this dark side needs to be facing up. And by the way, your images will be mirrored. They'll be backwards. So keep that in mind. But if you scan it, put it on your computer, you can easily fix that. So you want to have the thick side faced this way. And you just put it in like that and then push it forward a little bit and have this part go into this part just a little bit. You have to kind of fiddle around with it to get it just right. Okay, so when it's like that, maybe try to line it up better. And you can feel in the dark if the spacing's right. And once you have it the best you can, just get your Polaroid and I have this band-aid over this because if you accidentally pull this up a light is going to come on here and it could overexpose your image. You don't want that so just put a band-aid or electrical tape over it and so this latch pulls it down and you can just feel make sure this is on the bottom put it in like that close it up it's going to try to eject an image but it can't and so you take your picture and then you go back in the dark and you just reverse the process you just take it out take this out put it back in the film pack I like to push one out just a little bit to help me feel where I am put it back down pull this down and then this little flap here pull it back a little bit makes it easier to go down Again, always make sure this is on top because nothing will happen if you don't have it that way. Then put it back in your camera and do what I just did earlier and it will process your picture. Just cover your lens and take a picture. It'll push this through the rollers. So there you go. That's how you get your Instax mini film to work on your old Polaroid camera. And so I just thought this was amazing. I had to show you guys. Please uh, try this out for yourself and tell me how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have fun shooting.